Hi friends, uh, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about difference between synchronous transmission and asynchronous transmission in computer architecture course, computer organization course and computer organization and architecture course, computer networks course. It is one of the important and basic concept. The data can be transferred in two ways. First one is synchronous and the second one is asynchronous. Now, what are the main differences between synchronous transmission and asynchronous transmission can be discussed in this video. The first point in synchronous transmission, in the case of synchronous transmission, the data can be transferred in the form of blocks or our frames. Suppose transmitter and receiver are there. We want to send the data from the transmitter to the receiver. The data can be transferred in the form of blocks or our frames. Whereas in the case of asynchronous transmission, data can be transferred in the form of bytes or our characters. Next, second point, data transfer rate. Data transfer rate is nothing but data can be transferred in one second that is nothing but data transfer rate the data transfer rate of synchronous transmission is very fast whereas in the case of data tra data transfer rate in asynchronous transmission is slow next third point in synchronous transmission both Transmitter and the receiver uses the same clock for synchronizing the data between the transmitter and the receiver. Whereas in the case of asynchronous transmission, both the transmitter and the receiver uses their own private clock. Next, fourth point. In the case of synchronous transmission start and stop bits are not used while transmitting the data it consists of only block header that contains a sequence of data whereas in the case of asynchronous transmission start and stop bits are used while transmitting the data in the case of asynchronous transmission, between the start and the stop bits, whatever the data we want to send from transmitter to receiver, that data can be there in between the start and the stop bits in the case of asynchronous transmission. So that is the extra overhead in asynchronous transmission. Next, fifth point, synchronous transmission is complicated and costly, okay. Whereas in the case of asynchronous transmission, asynchronous transmission is uh, simple and cost effective. Next, sixth point, synchronous transmission is simple to design, whereas in the case of asynchronous transmission, asynchronous transmission is complicated to design because of start and stop bits and uh, uses their own private clock. The amount of time between two successive transmissions is always constant. That means the time interval between two data transmissions is remains constant. Okay, first we have to send one data transmission. 
Next, we have to send another data transmission. The time interval, that means the time gap between two data transmissions is remains constant in synchronous transmission. Whereas in the case of asynchronous transmission, the amount of time between two successive transmission is not constant, it is random. Next, in synchronous transmission, to get the response from the server, users have to wait till the transmission is complete. But whereas in the case of asynchronous transmission, user do not have to wait until the transmission is complete in order to get the response from the server. Next. In the case of synchronous transmission, there is no gap between the data frames or our data blocks. Whereas in the case of asynchronous transmission, there is a gap between two data bytes. Okay, here the data can be transferred in the form of bytes in asynchronous transmission. So, two data bytes are separated by some gap. So, because of that reason, we can say that there is a gap between the two data bytes in asynchronous transmission whereas in the case of synchronous transmission there is no gap between the two data blocks or our frames due to the common clock pulse. Next one. In synchronous transmission efficient use of transmission lines. Okay. The transmission lines can be uh, used very efficiently in the case of synchronous transmission but whereas in the case of asynchronous transmission sometimes the transmission line is empty in the case of gap between the two data bytes while during the transmission. Next one. In synchronous transmission Errors are detected and corrected in real time. But whereas in the case of asynchronous transmission, errors are detected and corrected when the data is available. Okay, whenever the data is available at the receiver, errors are detected and corrected in the case of asynchronous transmission. Whereas in the case of synchronous transmissions, errors are detected and corrected in real time only. Next one, in synchronous uh, transmission, we are getting only low latency because of real time communication between the transmitter and the receiver. Whereas in the case of asynchronous transmission, high latency because of processing time and the data is available, data is become available. High latency due to the processing time and waiting for the data to become available in asynchronous transmission. So here processing time is more and uh, waiting for the data to become available. So because of the two reasons, so high latency is there in asynchronous transmission. Here only low latency because of real time communication between the transmitter and the receiver. Next one, in synchronous transmission, local storage is not required at the terminal end okay so there is no requirement of any storage in the case of synchronous transmission 
whereas in the case of asynchronous transmission so local buffer storage is required to generate the data bytes at both ends next one the example for synchronous transmission is uh, chat rooms telephone conversations and uh, online gaming in these applications synchronous transmission is used whereas in the case of asynchronous transmission asynchronous transmission can be used in emails and forums file transfer and online forms in these applications asynchronous transmission is used so these are the 14 points 14 differences between synchronous and asynchronous transmission i hope all of you understanding this video if you really understanding this video please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates if you really like this video please subscribe my youtube channel so divela srinivas rao after subscribing my youtube channel click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my youtube channel for better understanding of computer architecture course or a computer organization course go to this channel and go to the playlist called computer organization or a computer architecture so thank you thank you one and all for watching this video